Hello, today we're going to be talking about the decorator pattern, I believe, and how to implement it in Symphony 7. The decorator pattern allows us to wrap objects inside other objects to increase their functionality uh, as we see fit. We'll be looking at how we can implement this pattern using a notification feature that will notify users via Facebook, Slack, email and SMS. Let's have a look. If we head over to the project, uh, we need to open up the SRC directory and then inside of here in the service directory, we can create a notifier, or a notifier or a notification, notification, I think, notification directory. And then inside of here, we need to create a contract and inside of here we can say notification interface like so like that now this will implement one simple um, method which is a send method and we will pass in a message and then it will output a string like that okay and onward and upward so now we can create a a new directory called notifier and now inside of here we're going to create the um, concrete components of this uh, pattern so for example the first one that we'll create is an email notifier notifier like so okay so now uh, next we need a uh, SMS actually um, what I'll do is I'll just implement the um, interface that we just created inside of here and we can mark that as a final class inside of here we will just return um, let's say email and then um, the message that it's been passed through like so so we just so we know that it's been sent via email obviously inside of here this is where you would implement your email sending if um, if we were doing this for real uh, okay, let's move on. So now we need to create some other ones. Let's say Facebook um, Notifier like so and this is pretty much going to be exactly the same as uh, The email notifier except we're going to change this to Facebook like so and next we need SMS Notifier like that and again uh, We can just copy and paste that to speed things up and finally slack notifier uh, did I spell that correctly yes I did okay and back to there uh, we can say slack notifier like that um, okay so we need to uh, just change this to slack and I think I missed the SMS like so okay right now moving on now we need to actually create the decorators um, oops a daisy decorator um, in the singular here we'll create a notification notification um, decorator like so and this will also implement the uh, notification interface that we created we will accept inside of the constructor a, an argument here which will be private uh, read only and this will be an instance of the notification interface like so and then inside of the send method uh, we'll say this notification send and then pass in the message uh, like so okay that's looking good onward now for posterity we will this would be fine we could implement this just with the notification decorator however just to show you what you could do um, I'll create another one so we'll create a notification um, with logging uh, decorator and this will implement um, a uh, the same interface that um, the other one does notification interface no, no, no. notification interface um, however what we will do 
is we will add something into here. Um, so it's going to do exactly the same as the previous uh, notifier uh, or decorator rather. Um, so we'll just add this in. I could copy it over. Um, I should have really. Oh well, I've written it now. Um, so notification interface, notification, and then here uh, return this notification send message like so. However, um, now we will add something else into here. So we'll say the logger, um, oh sorry, logger interface like so, logger. Now we'll create a private method called log, which will return void. This will accept a string, which will be, um, let's say, a okay, message again. Um, I don't really like having two things with the same uh, parameter uh, name, but oh well. Um, let's say this logger, and then we can log the message like so. Oh, it's uh, literally not log, let's say um, info, like that. And then just before we send the actual message in here, we can say this log and uh, we can log the message. Actually, we'll, we'll just put it into here and we'll say logging um, like so. Uh, like that okay so now we are done with the setup uh, that's everything we need so now if we go to our controllers and we'll create a notification controller like so and this will extend abstract controller and we'll create a route in here and we shall call this uh, decorator pattern like so um, and in here we should say send notification um, and let's just do that and get rid of that and do that okay um, this will actually return a response at some point so we could put that in there um, response there we go HTTP response Right, so now we need to get the notification uh, notifier. So the first one we can get is, um, we will inject it into here and we'll say the notification, um, notification interface like so. However, now we will use the auto wire auto wire method to say which service we want so the first one we want is we'll say service and we'll say the email uh, notifier class like so um, and it's probably complaining that it's not being used yet okay so now in here we can say this notification send and then this would be the message that we wanted to include in that email um, which would be, uh, I don't know, let's say, hi, um, you have been sent an email, don't reply, because we never read them, standard kind of business practice there. Anyway, so we can say here, um, logged email um, and here we can say new um, whoops, uh, notification with logging decorator and then we can pass in this email notification um, and we can just say notification oops a daisy notification Ugh. Uh, email notification like so and then the logger um, we can pass in as well um, logger interface which will be the logger like so we could actually um, use the service to define the configuration to define this but we'll just pass it in 
um, like so for now, just to speed things up again. Like so. Ah, oops. Um, I made a mistake there. This should be the uh, this notification because we want to pass in the notification interface, not the string that this will uh, output. Um, so we don't actually need that. Okay. Um, so now we've got that, we can then say send hello email sending with logging like so. So this will send the email and log um, some information. So now we're sending things via email, but we want to send them by um, SMS and Facebook as well. So let's uh, change this name to email notification. And then here we can inject the uh, SMS notifier, change the name SMS notifier, like so. And now we can inject the Slack notifier, change the name Slack notifier. And then again, the uh, final one, which was Facebook notifier and we can change the name like so um, and then in here we can just uh, duplicate this say SMS notification um, Slack notification and Facebook notification like so we can now add in the relevant uh, logging uh, decorators um, for it so here we can say uh, Slack notification like so and then we can say send um, logging with slack there we go and um, we won't add the logging for all of them um, we'll just add them for some of them so you can see that it's uh, working as expected like so so let's have a look at this so uh, I just realized something that we're not actually dumping anything out to uh, let us know that um, something's happening um, so we will have to uh, just go into our notifiers here and we can say um, let's just dump the message like that um, and it should tell us where it's coming from okie dokie so if we head back to our notification controller everything's looking pretty and dandy there uh, but we need to change the messages so we'll say sms uh, slack and facebook um, who's on there anyway And there we go. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so if we head over to the application and we enter in the address, and there we go, we're getting a render, and here we can see, okay, hi, you've been sent an email, don't reply because we never read them, from the email notifier, the SMS notifier, the Slack notifier, the Facebook notifier, and the email notifier again. And the Slack notifier. This is the logging. Oops. Uh, let's just open this up. So all is working as expected. And this is how we can implement the decorator pattern in Symphony 7. Have a good day.